Hello chess enthusiasts, my name is Micha and welcome to my chess realm YouTube channel. FIDE Swiss tournament is still underway. And let's go to the fifth round. I found an interesting game between Mikhail Antipo and Ivan Morovic Fernandez. Let's see what happened. Mikhail Antipo had white pieces and he started with e4, c5. And we have Sicilian defense knight to f3, e6. And now white plays uh, b3. Not very common move, actually very uncommon. White intends to fianchetto his dark square bishop. And black does the same. So b6 was played, bishop to b2, bishop to b7, knight to f3, knight to c6, and now d4, white strikes the center, c pawn captures on d4, knight recaptures, and I knight to uh, f6, attacking uh, pawn on uh, e4, so white hopes to defend the pawn with the bishop, but uh, then uh, knight on d4 is hanging, so first white plays knight captures on c6, bishop recaptures, and now bishop to d3 and now bishop to b4 pinning this uh, defender of a pawn on uh, e4 so white immediately reacts with queen to f3 further supporting pawn on uh, e4 and now black plays queen to uh, b8 of course uh, knight on uh, c3 is still pinned so black intends to play queen to e5 further putting pressure on the knight on c3 so white castles Queen side, getting his king out of the pin, and now black plays uh, queen to uh, d6 with the intention to bring him on the log diagonal, and now white plays g3, preparing uh, f4 strike at the correct moment, and now black plays uh, bishop to d5, taking over the long diagonal, of course, later with the uh, intention of on driving the knight away with action on the queen side, and white plays. Uh, Queen to e3, clearing away uh, for a uh, f pawn, and now black plays knight to g4, attacking the queen. Queen goes to e2, attacking the knight, and knight goes back to f6, and now white plays uh, f4. And now black plays uh, bishop to d4, still keeping the bishop on the long diagonal. And now white plays king to b1, sort of a waiting move. Waiting to see black's next move and black castles king side. And this was exactly what white wanted because now white plays e5, attacking uh, knight on uh, f6. Of course, bishop can capture uh, rook on h1. Well, let's see if bishop captures rook on h1, then e pawn captures on uh, f6. Well, if black recaptures with bishop, then rook captures uh, bishop. And now white has uh, two pieces and is in much better position than black. If, however, black would blunder with uh, bishop to, for example, uh, b7, then we have this uh, spectacular bishop sack, bishop captures on h7. Of course, king cannot go to h8 because after that, queen to h5. When this bishop is gone, it's a deadly attack on the king. So here black has to capture. Still, there is a queen to h5 check. King to uh, g8. And now knight to d5 is the killer move. Threatening, threatening with knight to e7 with uh, checkmate. Even if black captures, then we have uh, queen to g5. Of course... Uh, Pawn on uh, f6 is now protected, so if uh, bishop captures, bishop captures. Pawn on uh, g7 is pinned. Even after g6, we have queen to h6, and mate is unavoidable. So the bottom line is, in this position, black cannot capture uh, rook on uh, h1. So first, black captures uh, knight on c3. E pawn captures on uh, f6 and now bishop captures on b2 king recaptures and now we have reached the critical position in the game again if bishop captures rook then again we have bishop to h7 same as before if king goes to uh, h7 then queen to h5 check king to g8 and after queen to g5 there isn't much uh, black can do Maybe the best option here for black would be uh, simply playing queen to d8. If uh, pawn captures on uh, g7, then queen to f6 check. After white removes the king, then uh, queen.
queen captures on uh, g7, this would be the best option for black still. White would probably remove this uh, rook on h1. White would definitely be better, but far from a winning position. In the game, black captures pawn on f6, and that was a fatal blunder. With this move, black king has ordered a coffin for himself. Now white plays queen to g4 check, king can only go to h8, and now queen to h4, threatening with mate on uh, h7. So black can only defend this by uh, f5, and now queen to f6 check, king to g8, and now g4. Preparing to capture pawn on f5, opening uh, with intention of, on opening g file. Well, let's see. If black captures rook on uh, h1, then we have uh, rook to g1. Black could try with queen to uh, b7. After uh, g pawn captures each check, king cannot go anywhere. Black can only defend with uh, bishop to g2, but then queen to g5 check after. Uh, King to h8, then we have rook to uh, g g2. Of course, rook cannot go to g8 because it's queen to f6 checkmate. So here black can only uh, capture on g2 after queen recaptures for two rooks. White has a queen and a bishop and a winning uh, position. Rook to c8 doesn't help, after that is uh, g pawn captures on uh, f5 check, after king to f8, then we have rook to g7 uh, and mate is unavoidable. So in the game, black plays queen to d8, trying to exchange uh, queens, of course white doesn't allow it, so queen to h6 was played, and now uh, f6, preventing uh, queen to jump on uh, f6, also preparing rook to f7 with the intention of defending his king. So white plays g pawn captures on uh, f5, queen to uh, e7, and now we have rook from h goes to uh, e1, targeting this pawn on uh, e6. Of course, if black makes a random move, then f pawn captures d pawn captures, and after that, uh, rook to e6, double attack on queen and uh, uh, bishop. Of course, if king captures, is uh, queen to h7, checkmate. And if black removes the queen, then rook captures on a, a c6 with a winning position. So, so in the game, black plays uh, bishop to d5, further protecting uh, uh, pawn on e6. So pawn captures on uh, e6, of course bishop cannot capture, because if bishop captures, then we have uh, f5. And you can see that bishop is pinned, so uh, in the game black captures uh, e-pawn with uh, d-pawn. And now white delivers the final blow. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to find it. White plays bishop to h7, check. Well, let's see what black can do. If king goes to uh, f7, then it's queen to g6, checkmate. If king goes to uh, h8, then we have bishop to e4, check. Of course, if black defends with queen, it's checkmate. If king goes back to uh, g8, then we have rook to g1, check. Again, if black defends with queen, it's checkmate. And if king goes to f7, again, queen to g6, checkmate. And if, for example, black captures bishop, then we have rook to uh, g1, check. Of course, king has to protect queen, because if king goes to f7, then queen captures. And later with the rook to g7, it's going to be made in a couple of moves. If, if however, king goes to h8, then simply queen captures on h7. After king recaptures, it's rook to d3. And then it's going to be made on uh, h3. There's nothing black can do about it. And realizing his hopeless position here, Ivan Morovic Fernandez resigned the game. So I hope you like this game and that you have learned something from it. If you have any questions, my email is below in the description. Of course, I invite you to visit my Instagram page. That's it for now and see you soon.